Good morning, Chad. Yeah, I'm not doing all the physical activity this morning. Actually, these ladies are, because they've been working really hard to get ready for their talent. And so next up, we have our very own Miss Quincy, Celeste Neiman. She's going to be performing her tap routine, and it is awesome. So, Celeste, you take it away. All right, now that is a performance. When we get back, we're going to be showing you some more talents. We're going to have our Miss Quincy's outstanding preteen performance. She's got a beautiful voice. You don't want to miss it. Time to check in with uh, Kristen Aguirre, who's there. <laughs> Megan Townley is back there at the Quincy Family YMCA. You don't look alike. You, uh, I don't know. Good morning, Megan. What are you doing out there? Ah, well, good morning, Chris. And we're talking with some royalty. We've got Miss Quincy's outstanding teen, Kira Edson. So she's going to be singing this morning. And so as a little preview, just real quickly before you perform your amazing talent, <laughs> what's it like getting to perform, not only on stage, but having to prepare for an, a big production like Miss Illinois? You know, by now, all of us Quincy girls have practiced a lot. So it really isn't stressful anymore, and we're kind of used to being center stage and on the camera. And it's something that I think we all enjoy. But it has been a lot of work, but it's also been a lot of fun having something that you're working so hard to do. All right, so we're just going to get a little preview, a little snippet of your talent. You're going to be singing, and so I'm not going to, you guys will probably recognize the song, so I'm going to let her take it away. So you go for it because I have heard you warm up, and you've got a beautiful voice, so you Thank take you. it away. All right, <laughs> I'm singing Beautiful Day by You 2 and here's a little snippet. It's a beautiful day. Sky falls, you feel like it's a beautiful day. Don't let it get away. It was a beautiful day. Yay! That's so good. So obviously, I know a lot of people recognize that song. What's it like having to choose a talent song real quick? Because I know that's something that's not easy. Oh boy, it was difficult. For the Miss Illinois pageant, they had our paperwork due pretty early. So I had like a week to choose and get the music cut. Oh so my gosh. it's kind of a fast decision, but I think it's paid off. I'm yeah. feeling comfortable with it. Absolutely. Well, you sound comfortable and you sound very confident, which is important for the Miss Illinois pageant. We've got two more other lovely ladies here. They're going to be forming their talents as well. We have royalty just kind of all around. I think I need a crown too. I know, Kristen, you <laughs> practically are a princess on the inside as well, so you'd probably fit in here just as well. <laughs> and now probably. the perfect segue. Today is a beautiful day. Here's Tegan to tell us all about it. Tegan with our very own Megan Townley, who is live at the Quincy YMCA, hanging out with some royalty. Yeah, what is she um, doing hanging out with her friends over there? Hey, Megan. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Well, we've got the Miss Quincy's Outstanding Preteen who is singing, and she's got a lovely voice. She's going to sing a little snippet for us for her talent. So I'm going to let her take it away because you don't want to miss it. So you take it away. Thank you. Heart beats fast, colors and promises. How to be brave, how can I love when I'm afraid? One step closer, I have died every day waiting for you. Darling, don't be afraid, I have loved you for a thousand years. 
I love you for a thousand more And all along I believed I would find you Time has brought your heart to me I've loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand more <gasps> Wonderful! I'm so proud of you guys. You guys sing just with so much confidence and so you are awesome. Thank Good you. job. When we come back we're going to be talking about what it takes to prepare for a talent like this and what it takes to prepare for Miss Illinois in general. So when we come back you're going to be hearing more from our royalty for Miss Quincy. Absolutely amazing. That one touched me right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chad, so a fun fact mm -hmm. about our current Miss Quincy. She was actually Miss Gem City 2012 and now she's the current Miss Quincy 2014. So it's interesting because the Miss America pageant, it's not just a pageant, it's a scholarship program. And so what's it like being able to compete in something that's a scholarship program? Well, Miss America is unique because it is the largest scholarship provider for women today, providing over $45 million worth of scholarship. And so Miss America really stresses having a education and furthering your education and doing that through the Miss America program. So I helped to attend law school, and that's how it's helped me in my career plans. Yeah, so it's made you more driven and more confident, and it's nice because since you competed as Miss Gym City in 2012, you're getting to go back to the Miss Illinois pageant and compete again. So are you excited about getting to compete another time? Yes, having that first year under my belt has really made me feel more confident, and I am so excited and humbled to represent my hometown of Quincy for a second time at Miss Illinois. So what are you most excited about? Because I know there's a lot of different <laughs> aspects to it, but what are you most excited about? I am so excited for the interview portion. It's when the judges really get to know me, and I've been preparing with my current events and doing mock interviews, so I can't wait to show and impress the judges with everything I've been studying. So the interview is pretty long, I've heard. How long is it? It's a 10-minute interview. You. So they really get to ask you some heated questions. And I'm sure they probably just fire them off at you, I'm sure, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, and I'm also so looking forward to, to performing my talent since dance is one of my passions. Exactly, and we got to see that talent. And you'll also get to see it tonight on KHQA News at 5. If you didn't get to see it here, wonderful tap dance. I wish I could tap dance, but unfortunately I don't think I'm as coordinated as our Miss Quincy, but maybe someday I'll learn to be as coordinated. <laughs> Yes, uh, we're getting our sparkle on. I think I need a little bit more sparkle. I don't have a lot, but you guys, I'll just kind of stand by you guys and then it'll look like I have some sparkle on. Okay, so this is going to be your first time performing and competing at the Miss Illinois stage. What have you done to prepare for that? Because there's obviously a lot you probably have to do. There's been a lot of practice, whether it's just rehearsals for your talent with voice lessons. And then we've had mock interviews with our pageant director, and she's brought in a whole bunch of people from around the area to help us out in every single part of the pageant you've got to prepare for so that you can get up on stage and do it spot on. So every day I've tried to incorporate something in that's going to help me to be prepared on stage or in my interview both. It's a lot of work, but it'll pay off this so, next week. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you think has been the most difficult part of competing and preparing for it? It's making sure that you're prepared. Mm -hmm. There's so much to do and then prepared with packing. They had a huge packing list that you've got to do, but you know, when you're spending a week there, this is the first time that teens and preteens have had a preliminary pageant, so we are there for the entire week, making sure that you're prepared for the competition and prepared for spending the week. There is a lot of work and a lot of preparation that you've got to do because you don't want to be left unprepared once you're there. Absolutely. And so why did you choose singing? Was it something, did you grow up singing? Why did you choose singing for a talent? Well, I can't dance. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know what, neither can I, so I can totally relate. <laughs> but my older sister is very into voice, so she was helping me out, helping me pick a song and telling me what I could do. So I, I'm not a bad singer. Oh, so no, I sing think you are a great singer. <laughs> so singing was something that I could incorporate and have a good talent once I was on stage with. Well, I agree. I think you have a great talent, and I love Thank you, too, you. so that's a great song. <laughs> I think it sounds beautiful with your voice, and so good luck to you performing at the Miss Illinois competition because you are going to do great, I'm sure. So Thank you. when we get back, we're going to be talking with our Miss Quincy Outstanding preteen about what it takes for her to prepare for the pageant and a little bit about her platform as well. So if you're interested in knowing more, be sure to tune in for KHQ News tonight because we'll have more on our title holders tonight. Listen, uh, please save me a donut because I think we actually both want one. Her favorite food is donut, uh, fun fact. So if you guys can't save us some donuts, it's going to be a real tragedy. So let's talk about your platform because in order to compete, you have to have a platform, something that you want to support or something that you're passionate about. So can you tell us about your platform? Well, my platform for Miss Illinois and also it was for Miss Quincy is muscular dystrophy. 
It's not a really well-known disease, so I wanted to, I chose that as my platform because I have a personal, I have a personal account with it, and mm -hmm. also because it's not well-known, I want to spread awareness about it. And what do you think you have to do to prepare for something like this? Have you been researching it? Who have you talked with to help, kind of help you prepare for this? Well, when I first competed for Miss Quincy, I didn't know much about muscular dystrophy, so mm -hmm. I did a lot of research, and I actually competed in Miss Quincy last year also, so I knew a lot about muscular dystrophy this year, so I didn't really have to do any research. Yeah, you're just kind of like, I know this, I'm confident. So yeah. what are you most excited about, about getting to compete for, because you, you start on Sunday, so that's pretty soon. What are you most excited about? Well, I think I, one of my strong suits is interview and also talent. I feel really comfortable with both, and I just really look forward to those. Well, very good. We look forward to seeing you on the stage. So you guys leave Sunday, and so you've been doing a lot of preparation for it. Can you give us a little quick synopsis of what you've had to do for it? Well, there's a lot of packing involved. Since <laughs> it's a whole week, there's a lot of packing, and there's certain things you need to do to get it just right. So that's a big preparation. Also, just making sure you're ready to be on stage and you're not going to get scared. Mm -hmm. And just having every dress ready for everything and pr pretty much it. And you've got to get the pageant wave down, right? Yes. Yes. Something that actually our very own Mark Schneider, our cameraman, he's a great pageant wave. And so if you guys want to see it, I might try and uh, maybe post it to Facebook or the KHQA Twitter feed because I promise it is a great pageant wave. It's just like, it's out of this world. <laughs>